the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Even with all Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done.
course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. Ow! Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I didn't think Kate was like this. Macking on those bros? No need to go there now. Everybody's seen it by now. Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of The October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate, or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it.
Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can f I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be- Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember, I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital.
Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth, Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. She left out amnation. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful. Why did she cover up the mirror? Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? <laughs> 